Hi, welcome. My name is Martina and I work as an art teacher and a guide of Bruyutschus. And today I will give you a short introduction to the museum and the house. Um, and I will do it in English for our English speaking friends. Um, I will not speak that much about art, but rather about the house and the museum in itself. And at the moment I'm standing in the middle of the studio. This is as a visitor, the first room that you will enter once you get into the museum. You, will, you have your entrance to the door behind me. And the first thing you notice in this room, except that it's full of sculptures and paintings, is the rather large windows on the side. These windows are north facing, which is ideal for any artist as it provides uh, even daylight throughout the day, which for obvious reason, it's quite good if you're working with a painting or a sculpture. And in this room, you'll find many sculptures and many paintings and a lot of pre-studies. Pre-studies for commission work, for example. During the 40s, but mainly 50s and 60s, in Sweden, municipalities worked with something we call the 1% rule. And the 1% rule means that 1% of any building budget for new construction and reconstruction would go to art. This resulted in artists um, competing for different projects, sending in models and, and uh, sketches to, to win these assignments. And in this room, one of the most famous Bruyut commission work would be Nekens Polska. you find a pre-study here behind me. Nekens Polska today, uh, you can find outside the Uppsala old station house at the central station. This is a, a bronze sculpture commissioned by the municipality of Uppsala. And um, it took Bruyut about 16 years to complete this sculpture. And it was finally installed 1967 in place. So if you have a walk by, you can, have, you can see it live. Um, and it's rather large, but it's built in this studio. And another commission work that is quite famous for Bruyort is the triptych that you see behind me. This triptych is an altarpiece that you can find at, in the church of Jokasjärvi. Um, this altarpiece is in three pieces and it's scale one to one, so it's the actual scale. But this is the pre-study, it's a painting and uh, the actual piece that you will find in the church is a painted wooden relief. And Briot made this dur during five and a half, six years. He started in 1952 and it was installed in 1958. And if you follow me along, I will bring you further back into the house. Welcome back. Now we're standing in the living room of Briochus, as far back as you can get. In this room, you find a lot of art and also a lot of books. Briot was a great reader, a bit of an introvert, and he has an extensive library of books, poetry and philosophy and everything in between. One of the most common questions we get from visitors here it is whether it looked like this or not when Bruyut was living here. And it's not a clear cut answer as yes or no to that question, it's rather both. It did look like this, he did surround himself with his own art and 
And in the same way, it did not really look like this. Some things have been modified to, to support uh, a museum open to the public. For Breyot, it was actually important that, that the museum would be about his art and not about the life he lived here. And when you walk around, you realize that it's, it's not that many personal belongings or clothing or personal artifacts of some sort, but you will still have the presence of the life that been held here by, by Bruyot and his family. You get very close to the art um, and even though you can't smell the paint or you can't see the plaster dust, I think you very well can picture a life that's been going on. This house was built in the 40s by Bruyot himself and, and his wife Tove Fries, also an artist, together with architect Steen Hummel Gemelius. 1943, the family moved in, and this house is located in an area of Uppsala that today feels pretty much center, but at the time of building this house, it was in the outskirts. If you stand in the living room and you look across the garden, uh, you will see an extension to the museum. And in this extension, we house about six different exhibitions a year with different artists. And more importantly, it also houses a lot of school children from the municipality in the region for art classes throughout the week and also for art school in the evening. That was all for me. I hope you enjoyed this rather short introduction tour to the house. Bye.